Approximately 2.3 million people around the world live with multiple sclerosis. Around 85% of them live with relapsing forms of MS or RMS. This chronic neurological disease can tremendously impact their daily lives, including difficulty with balance, walking, seeing, memory, and day-to-day -day mental tasks. The good news is that there have been major advances in RMS that are truly improving the lives of people living with the disease. Most of the advances you hear about are related to new MS treatments. But treatment isn't the only way we can help people living with RMS. And it's not the only place where advances are being made. The good news is that there are advances in how we assess and measure RMS too. Historically, clinicians have focused on three measures to assess disease activity in RMS. Relapses, MRI lesions, disability progression. But more recently, studies have shown the value of adding a fourth measure of RMS disease activity. This measure is called brain shrinkage, or brain volume loss. All of our brains shrink as we age, but in people living with RMS, their brain shrinks at a rate three to five times faster than the general population. Research suggests measuring brain shrinkage is a good predictor of long-term disability progression. And by adding this measure to the assessment of RMS, get a more complete understanding of a patient's disease activity and also response to treatment. When these four key measures of disease activity are effectively impacted by treatment, a patient is said to have no evidence of disease activity or NIDA4. That means no confirmed relapses, no confirmed disability progression as measured by the expanded disability status scale, no new MRI lesions, equal or less than what is considered as normal brain volume loss. Delivering such a result to someone with MS, that is what we all work for tirelessly every day. To do best in achieving this, we have to address these measures early and tackle them with an effective treatment. Doing so can impact the course of relapsing MS and protect what matters most to patients. Leading an independent life with preserved physical and cognitive function.